What's going on guys? Vandal here back with more Let's Play Wind Waker. In the last part, we got launched into the Forsaken Fortress, lost our sword, and now we're going to try to find it and save our sister. So let's go! Ah, oh, what now? Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> Look on your face. Priceless. Um, how are you talking to me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I slipped a stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone, either. It's teal. I can see what you're doing through the stone. Obviously, you can hear me through it. So if you press A, you better press that button. I put the stone in your quest status, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so. Hey, listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Yes, Miss Tetra. So that's, um, pretty cool. It's a little, like, walkie-talkie. And look at this! Solid Link. Even though I've never played a, uh, Metal, Metal Gear game. Okay, now. Um, uh, do I have a strategy for this? Jeez, I almost got caught. Um, so obviously, don't get hit by the spotlight, because you will be caught. And thrown into prison, and eaten, and raped. Hey, Jeez, that was close. Um... But yeah, let's go up here. So our goal right now is to take out all the spotlights in the Forsaken Fortress here. Actually, I don't think you can take out all of them. I think as long as... Let me look at... Uh, if you take out the one up there that's hovering by the window, I think you're fine. Oh, for God's sakes, Tetra. Listen up, Link. There's a monster running that searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster blow and see if I can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could probably pick it up. But that's just me. What do you do? I don't know. What would Brian Baitano do? No. Alright, let's go up here. Hi, Helmerock King. I see you up there plotting. What are you doing up there? Buddy. Look at him. Sleeping away. Nodding off. Get back to work. Anyways. Let's use our telescope to bash this guy over the head with. Let's go, buddy. Hey. And for some reason he decides to let the search light up? I don't know. But so, the plan of attack here is to either use your shield and he'll drop his weapon. Pick it up and beat the crap out of him. Come on, get up. Get up so I can hurt you again. Just make one have the stick because you're a bad mob. That's right. Treasures? No, you greedy. Oh, there's a whole thing of sticks right there we could have used. Never mind. It, it, yeah, you can pick up weapons in this game of your enemies. And that's really cool. It's either swing it or you can throw it. So it's throw that one. Pretty far. Uh, we cannot get to this searchlight through here. We actually have to go all the way around, sadly. And do I have a method to my madness in this level? Or this, I guess it's kind of like a dungeon? No, I do not. I get lost here a lot. Yes, game. Thank you. I can see where I have to go. I know that. But let's go here. I think... Well, I know there's a piece of heart in the Forsaken Fortress that I want to get. And I'm just trying to think what the best way to do that would be. And also, we have a, a treasure over here. Could it be? I don't know, kid. Let's find out. What could it be? I'm so excited. I don't know what it's going to be. Come on, Link. What is it? You got the map! Yay, we got the Forsaken Fortress map. This is, I don't know, kind of helpful in this dungeon? Not really. I don't know. But what's down here? I think... Yeah, I want to get down here. Can I get back up through here now? No. Well, alright, screw it, go. Ow. Alright, so what I want to do here... Use one of these... And drop it on there. Be free! Whoever's imprisoned in here. Anyone here? No? Really? Okay. So, here is our piece of heart. Spoilers. You got a piece of heart! Yay, so... Obviously, as usual in any Zelda game, excluding Twilight Princess, collecting four pieces of heart will um, give you a new heart container. 
And I'm just trying to think what the best... You know what, let's go ahead and get captured. Um, so, just, just so I can show it off. And also I think it'll be easier for us to get back to where we were. Hello! I'm right here! Don't burn me! I surrender. You know, why wouldn't they just kill me? Like, why, like... Really, like, just kill me and you, you I wouldn't, you wouldn't have this problem, but they're stupid. So, if you ever get caught, all you gotta do is go up here. Ooh, blue ruby, mine! No, Link, drop, get the blue ruby. Thank you. So yeah, get up here, on the table. And, um, there's a conven conveniently placed escape route here. Let's go ahead and crawl on through, get all dirty. But, uh, yeah, so our goal is to basically get back to where I was. I just wanted to show off what happens when you, when you get caught. But where does that take us now? Where am I? Okay, we're back. Oh! Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, we're back here already. Okay, cool. Right where I wanted to be. Okay, so back to this door here. Uh, this should take us to around where I wanted to go, I think. I think, isn't this... I think this is the search I, I want to take out. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know. Cause I think, yeah, I think I'm really only going to concern myself with, like, the ones that I have to take out. So let's go ahead and actually... There should be a... Lot, yeah, right here. Base. No! Ow! What hole? You must die! It's on now. Come on, come on, come back here. Get back here. Are you waddling off too. I'm gonna slap you, silly. All right, so he's down. Now, which one did that take out? Excellent. See now that uh, there's no light up there now, which is really good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go this way now. I'm just trying to do this in like the quickest, easiest way possible. I, I, like I said before, I get kind of lost here sometimes, like... I don't know, it, it's kind of confusing a little bit. But as long as you, like, you stay on the top and just keep going on, along the top route, you should be fine. And thank God for, like, the auto-grab on those ropes there, because, like, I was kind of off on that one, on that jump, but the game's very nice and lets me grab it anyways. But yeah, so let's... Keep on trucking through the Forsaken Fortress here. Um, th this music's pretty nice too. Not bad. Let me think here. Um, okay, wait for it and go. Yeah, if you fall down, you have to go all you have to trek all the way back up, and it's just kind of a pain, you know. So, I advise you to stay on top. I think we're getting close to where I want to be. I don't remember. I th if yeah, I think you have to get to. Like right in the right in the center here. So I'm pretty sure. Yes, exactly where I want to be. Very nice. So we got these. I think these are moblins actually. Oh, geez, he's right there. Um, is there a barrel I can use somewhere? Yeah, right there. But you know, what? I don't think we need a barrel. I think I can just actually run right past this guy. Go 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 go! Gotta go fast. That was easy. Those giant doors, Link, they're freaking huge. But yeah, I, I suggest taking that route because it's the fastest, easiest way to get up here, basically. So yeah, let's keep on keep it on here. Yeah, oh boy, stairs. Okay, grab this barrel, you're gonna need it. Cause that guy over there is a douche. You know what I don't get? How dumb do these guys have to be that they don't see this barrel moving closer to them? It's like, what? What'd you say about me? Oh, huh? what? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're moving while in the barrel and they see you, it'll make that noise. And it'll kind of give you a freebie, but if you keep moving, they'll catch you, regardless. So don't move while they're facing you. It's like, I can smell them. I can smell that filthy human somewhere here. Keep on moving up here. Da, 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 da. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't wait. Okay, he's gonna sniff there. So wait. What? 
Huh? What? Huh? What? I smell something. Okay, never mind. Go, 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 go. Run, Link. Or waddle. Whatever. Alright, and once you get far enough, go ahead and drop the barrel and run. It's that simple. Again, it's, uh... It's easy. If you know what you're doing, it's really easy, so don't, uh... Don't panic, don't fret. Now, this section, you're probably thinking, Well, how do I get across here? Simple, my friend. Sidle! Yes, this game introduces... Uh, the only time you ever can, in any Zelda game, is Sidle. I think that's what it's called. Link kind of just, you know, tiptoes his back, you know, across... Across the wall here. Isn't that... Could, could you do that in Mario 64, too? I think you did. I'm gonna take a look at Link's face while he's walking, it's pretty funny. He's all suspicious, like, hmm... What could be on the other side of this wall? Let him, let him stand so straight. Silly Link. Crazy man. Alright, keep on going here. Almost there. And yes, I have let go of the A button too soon there and fallen all the way off. And no, it's not funny. It sucks. <gasps> A sword! Hooray! Yeah, I'm happy! Oh, hello. Um, ignore me. I'll just take my sword back, please. You got the hero sword you dropped? Awesome. Now you're in business. Don't drop it again. I love this music track, too. Oh, backslice. You know what? I'm gonna pick up your sword and kill you with it. Where is it? There. Get chopped up. Yeah. Ow. Never mind, I'll use my sword then. I love how the enemies explode in this game, too. They just... Poosh, into a purple cloud of smoke and... Sometimes they will turn into this ball here. And depending on which color it is... I believe green is rupees, orange is money, and red is health. So, let's go with... Items. Hey, a butterfly. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy like butterflies and nectar-filled blossoms. Blossom, buttercup, bubbles? What? Anyways. Hopefully, this is where our sister's being kept. We can save her and end this game, like, in four parts. That'd be awesome. Let's take a look around. Oh, there she is. With two other girls. Hi, Errol. Hi, rich girl. Hi, poor girl. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh. Oh shit, Helmet Rock King. What's going on? I was just, uh... uh I'm actually the, the the janitor. Yeah, that's what I am. That's who I am. I'm gonna clean up the, uh, the area here. Oh god, he ate me. Don't eat me! Don't eat me, please! No! Do something, Errol. You're useless. You could totally slip through the crack in that prison the cell, too. Those... Those bars are so far apart. What are you doing with me, you sicko? How did that ship get up there? Are you taking me to your master? Oh, hi, obviously, Ganondorf. Man, Ganondorf, you let yourself go. You're fat. You're a fat, fat, fatty. Did you eat a lot of cake while you were sealed away, fatty? They have cake in the realm you were being kept in. Okay, he Ganondorf tells him tells him to throw me to the right, so the bird proceeds to throw me to the left. Wonderful. And that's how Link died, my friends. He got thrown by a bird into the great sea and drowned. Now he's a floating corpse. Oh, hey, red boat. Are you going to give me mouth to mouth? Hey. Link, Link. Wake up, Link! What? Title screen? No. Pull yourself together, Link! Seagull. I'm alive? What's that thing by my crotch? Okay, who saved me? Who's, who's talking? <laughs> well, have we come to your senses yet? Holy crap! You are surprisingly dull with it. Yeah, this boat talks. Did I startle you? 
I suppose it's only natural. As far as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am king of red canaries, I mean lions. Do not fear, I am your natural enemy. I saved you, you ungrateful little prick. Link, I am watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands the mo that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. Dwarf. He who obtained the power of the guard attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. Why is he on fire? He was the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legend speak of. I do not know why the shield of the guard has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yep. And will you do anything to save her? Yep. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on you, what you must do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in the great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yep. In that case, we depart. The Great Sea! Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail, and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Unless you have a motor. I have brought you to the east of the Dark Age of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. Okay. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sail must come first, do not be limited to only buying it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up anything else you think you might need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Sure thing, King of Red Lions. You're my new best friend. It's pretty cool. Yeah, King of Red Lions, awesome character. Even though he's a boat. But whatever. We are on Windfall Island, my friends. And hey, look a pig. So, I think that's going to be a video. And uh, until next time, guys, this is Vandalay. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you later.